Hello, this is for the reading of Cancer. This is um, Twin Flame reading and my name is Sophia. I've pre-laid the cards. Um, so I'm just going to jump straight into this. Okay. I haven't looked at the cards, so I'm going to look at them now. This to me looks like someone was lodging it. Like, yeah, what? Yeah, and what? I've got loads of money. But that you was like, whatever. This is, <laughs> this is what I'm picking up. This is what, he was scary. He was all over the place. Maybe he was on some kind of drugs as well. Up and down. He was an up and down character. But you, you could see him. You could see what he was really like. He was... You're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever, that kind of thing. And you was like, at the same time, look, this is what we should be doing. Stop messing about now. Let's just move forward. But he was fighting some kind of demons. And he wants peace. Let me see what this is about. He created a lot of burdens and kind of ran to his man cave. We used to say, some of you might have said, some, there's a saying, something is chucking the dummy out of the pram, something like that. I'm getting that saying, I don't know why. And you're like, oh my gosh, she's done it again. Something like that, I'm saying. This was someone who was all front and no back, as I would say. But why was he, he had some inner, definitely was battling inner demons. He was a young boy in scared, young scared, a young scared boy inside. In fact, he had nightmares. This guy has no doubt got knows about the bond between you two. There's no doubt about that. And he's working hard to balance his <coughs> yin and yang emotions. And he knows he has to do that to keep you. He's definitely battling some inner demons. It's in his head as well. He wants to try to manifest. He's been trying to think of how to manifest this new beginning or this begin this relationship with you because he sees you as the everything. You're um spiritual 
you're grounded. You've got everything together. And he just wants to walk with you barefoot in the sand or something. I don't know, that's what I'm saying. A new, a new start, clean, barefoot, something. I don't know. Um, but he's lost. He's lost of how to do it because of these demons. Let me read some more cards. It's like he's strong and then he's weak. Two sides to him. He needs healing. It's like he, he's asking for help. He wants some kind of help to heal. He might be on some kind of addictions to calm these inner demons he's saying he's battling with. And he's asking for help. I don't know from you, but he needs some kind of help to... Um, sort that to because he he definitely want he desperately wants to defeat it because he wants he's looking into the future with you and he wants to take action but whenever he starts to take action it's the two different coloured horses here yin and yang back and forth. It's not in control. These don't look like they're in any sort of control. And every time he thinks he's past it, they come back again. He wants to move away from these, the, the burdens. He wants to drop the burdens. And this card here, he's, he wants to drop the burdens. And this is the boat. So he's moving away from that. He wants to, the, the boat with the swords is moving away. He wants to move away from these heavy burdens. And go towards you, which... I don't know, maybe he wants to go on a retreat, some kind of holiday, where you walk in on the sand, I'm seeing, you comfort him, he wants a new beginning, a passionate beginning, you two are very passionate about each other. He's totally in his head, which creates burdens, and he can't see his way forward due to these inner demons. But the cards here, there's judgment, the sun, so he's going to get healed. Music heals him. I don't know if he loves his music. You will heal him. You don't have to do anything, but something about nature as well some retreat in nature or on the beach is, is gonna something like that that you two might be going to that's gonna heal him maybe you was discussing that because he wants some passionate new beginning with you there's no doubt about it he actually is He's, it seems like he's had this before and he's not done anything. Now he wants to do something, which is wrong because people say you should do it for yourself. But because of you, he is absolutely now wants to cure these inner demons. Whatever these inner demons are, I'm not sure yet. But it could be some kind of drugs because I can see blank expressions. And that normally means to me... He, he's he's stunned or something because he's trying to manifest but this guy looks stoned 
So if you're manifesting stoned, it ain't going to do anything. And I say stoned, which is weed and stuff, because of, I don't know, I don't even smoke cigarettes or drink, so I'm not like I'm an expert, but or I've even done it. But most people say they smoke weed to meditate. So I'm thinking this guy might do that to meditate, but that is um, counteracting it because of obviously you need to have a clear mind to know what to do. So he's trying to manifest a new beginning, um, a new stable beginning because it's got all the... the pentacle and the cup, a new emotional stable beginning, but this guy looks stoned. So because he's stoned, he's emo he's he's manifesting nothing. <laughs> Look, nothing's happening in the background. Dryness. Because he's not doing it right. But he's trying. And this is someone again, I don't know if you can see his face. There's no emotion. And that's someone of two two people. The strong horse and then the other one which is weak. He wants to declare his love. He's kind of romantic. In poetry, maybe? Does he write you love letters? Or some kind of sends you love letters? Yeah, he definitely is, is twice now I see this boat. He wants to get onto calmer waters, get into the boat. Six of Swords, so he wants to move away towards you to calmer waters to a, a new stable beginning because he's in regret that he didn't do it sooner i'm just going to pull some other cards Please for this reading. Yeah, but he's definitely trying to use the law of attraction to manifest. It's not working. He sees you as his guide, guiding angel. So he's quite spiritual then, if he's trying to manifest. Yeah, I can see here you're all in um, purple. So he sees you as spiritual. So he tries to connect with you when he's manifesting. Could be a Taurus or Aries, maybe even Sagittarius if it's shown. Oh no, all signs here. Reading. Sorry, I've gone quiet. I'm reading the cards, see what else comes out. He's now seeing clearly. This is like the crown chakra. He's seeing the all, and he's, yeah, he's trying to do some kind of spiritual work. I'm picking up here. He's trying to align all his um, chakras within. He's trying to manifest, and he's getting that from you because he sees you as the everything. So he's like, well, she's like this, so I'm going to try to be like her, because she's very spiritual. So he's trying to do that, but like I said, stoned. <laughs> so it's not manifesting, but it, it, it's, um, it's, it's, he does the drugs or whatever he does, because of he has these inner demons. So it, it gets rid of the in, inner demons, and but it doesn't help him in the long run. Okay, I'm just going to pull some more cards. See what else. Oh. Yeah, judgment. Judgment's come out twice. 
So he does, this will, This is judgment phase, he's going to work out in the end, he's going to balance all his emotions. This is another retreat, so you two, you two must be wanting to go away, or maybe you should go away because of it keeps coming up here about something about re re retreat. This guy's in deep regret because of he can't get out of his mind, he feels stuck in his mind with these thoughts and the demon, and he... He, he like gets like that angry because of it and he regrets because of he's spilling the cups of love on you and he's like I don't want to do that and he's trying to separate the love and the demons yeah he needs strength he needs strength to do that but he's got strength See, and in this card here, it's you. You are the one that, not, you don't have to do anything, but you are the one taming this, this beast. What's this? I don't know. And this yellow is the healing. The love, green chakra, the healing. You're the one that tames him and he recognises that. Let's just see this hermit card now. He's got two fingers up towards the healing. And you can see they're not like this. He's got them like that. So he knows this is you and this is his demons. And that's in the middle. <laughs> so he's got an issue in the middle to get you two together. So you're like that. That's what I'm picking up from that card. Sorry, that sounds stupid, but... <laughs> Anything else, please? He's going to come, oh, he's going to get clean. It's absolutely, look, naked, clean, nothing, new start, fresh ocean, and a massive emotional cup there. That's you, that's what he sees you as. The cup, golden, massive golden, holding you there. Yeah, he was stuck, didn't know where to go, covered in your love, but felt the swords all around him, which blinded him. I'm just going to read these ones. I haven't looked at these cards. <clears throat> he sees you by his side. Both of you together fighting. So yeah, you're definitely part of this demon, not that you create it, but you're part of getting rid of it because you're joined here in the, him fighting the demon. And the more he tries, the more the flames, the, it is the demons going against you. So he's trying to separate you with the demon. For the new beginning, he's showing, look, Stop it. I want the new beginning. He's holding four wands towards you, which is the four wands, which is the twin flame, and one towards the demon, like, go away. He wants a, he's like, I want this new one passionate beginning. But like I said, there's strength. Strength came out. He's strong. This guy's strong. Anything else, please? Oh, okay. That's it. That's 
see that these guys they were wanting to come out a little story here hold on one sec um ah, okay yeah he was trying to tell you about this before but he couldn't he really wants to tell you about it but because of it's so cloudy in his head he didn't even know how to start to say about um having these weird nightmares trying to battle it it's to do with you you've got to heal me he ain't even going to go there which created even more nightmares he might have even been lying to you about it or not communicating or you didn't actually know he suppressed his emotions again about to you maybe maybe this guy he didn't communicate or there's no communication now or there's no communication about uh, he wasn't communication communicating his emotions this guy has got like definitely demons some kind of demons he's battling and i don't know why i have to pull more cards about that but he's going to be healed i can see a fresh start here with the sun and um a naked new beginning with you he will do because the Ten of Cups. High Priestess. And it's the ending of all this battling. He's had enough. It's like, go on, just, just do it now. That's how I'm reading. Just get on with it. I want to start afresh. So it's like he's just lying there and just look, just stab me, just do it. So he's just, he's, he's fed up of the battling and defending himself and saying this. And he wants to grow these little growths with you. That's what he's in and out. Little tiny little growths you see. Little spurts of him saying things, but not truly speaking. He feels you as massively as healing him somehow. I don't know how to say that, but here, this is how he is, he's blinded, he's not communicating, he's in his head, this is like lizard to me, that dragon lizard, his skin, of the demon he has, you know, he might not even touch you as much, no holding hands, that kind of thing, because he feels that, no cuddling, this guy's not like that because of that's how he feels. But he's really emotional. But you might not even be saying that because the water's behind him. So it's like he doesn't express that. Secrets. But like I said. This is the new beginning. So this reading is so that you know how he really is really that's what i would say this is what this reading is for so you can know how deep it is and how he really feels because i don't know if he's going to express that to you he will do because of this truth's going to be spoken here judgment temperance he's going to balance out his emotions and speak to you the truth because he feels the connection he knows your twin flame you know the might not say it i always say that because guys don't know twin flame but he definitely sees you as comfort healing judgment again okay so there's your reading um thanks for listening bye